God's Raid has listened. Yes. A new event got dropped and it is so much better than the last one. It is such a minor tweak, but they did listen and we don't have to continually run campaign just to get these souls to get the rewards. Let's go. I didn't see that this was released anywhere other than when it got dropped in game. I went and had a look. It is on their official community, but it got posted like as we went into reset. So um, it's really weird that they're not telling us before they do these events. But anyway, here we are. The event is here. I'm going to show you how to get the most out of this event and not waste your resources at all. So let's get in and have a look. So we'll start off over in the community. So the protector of good Vishnu has come to offer a special deal to our contractors. Let's go. The soul of springtime that are required with certain probability when clearing campaigns and mazes. Vishnu will trade the soul of springtime with something the contractor needs. Exactly the same as the last time. How to participate when clearing campaign or maze. One of the main contents in God's Raid. A soul of springtime will drop with a certain probability. It drops in all stages of campaign regardless of the difficulty with different probability and difficulty. So what it did look like in the last one a thousand energy will get you the 200 per day it seems like that is the same but we'll go through and i'll do a couple in each campaign level solar springtime can be acquired up to maximum 200 per day that is exactly the same that's what it looks like collect souls in exchange for necessary items standard the required quantity varies for each item the exchange restrictions on some items this is exactly the same as the last one there's sun king's treasure chest you can only do one of those. Same with the soul tears. There's a few that is once per week. And I'd probably go for those first if you really want to. One thing you do need to know. The soul of springtime can be sold for gold in your inventory. Do not do this. Let me tell you again. Do not do this. I'll go in and sh I will remind you again before the end of this video. But this is something you need to make sure you do not do. It is not worth it. So this is the event right here. One thing that you do need to do every day is come into this event and watch a little 30 second advert to get your 10 of these coins for free. Make sure you do that every day. You can spend 100 diamonds to get 10 more. I wouldn't do that unless you are a pay to win. So we'll start all the way over here on the right. Your legendary hammers. If you're up to that stage and are gearing legendary gear, yes, go for this. Random training manual. No, I would not buy this. You can just get that from the maze. Soul tears. If you really want soul tears, go right ahead. You can only get the 300. It's only 160. There you go. That's one day's worth of grind. Random enhanced stone. No, I would not buy this. You can get that from the maze. 10 hero soul stones. This is a maybe. We'll have a look back at this in one second. Legendary hero elixir. A maybe again. Legendary holy elixir. This is what I'd go for more. If you get to the end and there's nothing else you want to buy, I would just go for this so then you can level up gods if your gods are already leveled to whatever then go for the hero but god elixirs i feel like is very hard to come by and you want those leveled up even more than heroes to be honest hero summoning ticket these i would probably go for over your soul stones just because the more of these you pull the quicker your mercy goes down the more chance of getting a legendary champion out of the tickets this is what i would go for you can only do one per week so if you want to get well at the end you want to pull some of these, then you can go for that as well. 7,000 gold, I would not do that. I know it's only five, but seriously, the pots and that are much, much more valuable. Epic Ascension Stone, you can only get one of these per week. I probably wouldn't. I'm getting enough now that I don't need to do this. Maybe if you're at the start of the game and you're really struggling to get them, yes, buy them once. God Summoning Tickets, yes. This is probably the number one priority out of all of these things that can happen weekly this goes for three weeks so you can buy this three times that is 30 gods you can summon there is nowhere else in the game that you can get these without paying so my number one thing that i'm going to be getting is this god summoning ticket 100 percent. coming across sun king's treasure chest you get a random legendary plus sun king equipment yes that is really good you want some legendary plus gear that is probably going to be the easiest way to get it it does cost 2000 that is 10 days worth of grinding so if you grind this whole thing, don't get any extra. You can only buy two of these chests and that's pretty much it. Legendary Ascension Stone, 1,500, one per week. I think they're really only used for Mythic Champions. I'm not up to that stage yet. I'm not going to buy those with my resources. So that is a no. So realistically, you have the God Summoning Tickets, Hero Summoning Tickets, your Soul Tears and your Hammers is the main things I would buy and any left over, then go into soul stones and holy elixirs. That is what I'm going to be doing. You can obviously do your own thing, but just from me, that is what I'm going to say. 
you can. If you are a spender, buy these here. Ten dollars for two hundred. They come with other things, which isn't too bad, to be honest. If you want to pull heroes or get better gear, that's up to you. If if you're someone who buys, go ahead buy whatever. But for you free to players, I think this is a lot more achievable than the last event because we can source them from the campaign or the Labyrinth Island. It should be called Maze Island. I know Maze and Labyrinth is pretty much the same thing, but it's called Maze Island here. If you click here, Maze Island, okay? So we go over to campaign. If you want to get one pretty much from every run you do, let's do this one right here. I'm pretty sure I can do this one on auto. I'll bring you back in in the end and see how many, how much we get. There, we got a victory in hell and I got one of these. I will, down the line, 100% check this, but going off last event, I highly doubt they would change this, but hell, you are guaranteed one per run. If we look at that, a run costs five energy. You will need to do 1,000 energy to get your 200 of those. This is not the best way to do this, I believe. Let's go back out. And I'm going to have a look at the maze. And I'm going to do a couple of different levels here. So, I'll start with a stage 5. I'm going to run through all of these. And I'm going to write down what I get. And then I'm going to come back in and show you exactly what I've got for them all. Because I believe you get more than one per run in this. Which I think, time-wise and whatever else, that will be a lot more efficient than running through your campaign. Obviously, I believe, look at that, I've got two from this. How much energy did I just spend? How much energy does that cost? Stage 5 run. That costs 10 energy. Does... Now up here. Still only cost 10. I believe I'm still going to get 2 from here. So going by that, it's going to cost 1,000 energy per day to get your 200 of your soul fragments or whatever they are. 200 of those resources is going to cost you approximately... 1,000 energy. If you're not up to hell, I would just go into the maze and pretty much run the maze consistently. Like, you're going to get a lot more out of the maze than you are at a campaign. Obviously, if you're still grinding up with your characters yet, go in and do campaign. Sweet. But I'm going to be needing a lot of gold. Look at that. to get two as well. Very quickly, I was just editing the video whilst I was having some runs over here on my other screen. And bada bing, bada boom. Look what just happened. And I noticed it happened again and again and again. On my Maze of Gold, stage 19, I was getting three of this resource per run. Not every time. It was very close. I would hazard at a guess that stage 20 is a guaranteed three per run. I cannot do it consecutively on auto. I'd have to sit there and do it all by myself. I don't really have time to do that right now. But if you guys can test that, if you can run stage 20 of the maze, run through, just check, is it three per run? If it is, that is the best place to grind. If you can grind stage 20, 19, 18, whatever the highest one in your maze of gold is, do that because it looks like the higher you are, the more chances of getting three per run. This means you'll spend less than 1,000 stamina per day to get your 200. It would be more like 750. Yeah, about 750 of stamina instead of 1000 this is so good even better this makes this even better and then there you go look i did seven runs and got 19 if it was three per run it would have been 21 so that hit rate is pretty high there was only three runs out of the seven so it's about 50 percent of the runs i'm getting three out of this is really really good news good work god's raid you have listened let's go even as a free-to-play player yes it's going to be very hard for you to get all of this energy every day you can do this every four hours you can get 50 energy you get 100 energy per day for free and i would purchase some with gems because what you're getting out of here is probably better than what you can buy with gems don't go over to the top though like just do do another one if you can't get through a thousand energy i know it's really hard to do that just get close if you're getting 150 150 of this every day that's not too bad 150 per day. I know you're, you're missing out on 50. Yeah, cool, whatever. But it's still free items. Still free items and really, really good. And the one last thing before we go, I know I, I have to tell you this. If you come in here, go to your equipment, click on sell, and if you click rare, you come down here. Do not ever do this. Ever. Do not ever click rare. Do not ever click uncommon. Look at what it puts in there. Do not ever click common. 
do not click any of these bottom buttons down here because you will sell things you do not want to sell. All of this down here for some unknown reason gets put into here when you click that button. This needs to be changed. The amount of times that people would be clicking rare to get rid of their rare items, maybe not rare, uncommon and common. I did it when I first started. I was just clicking uncommon. I don't care. I want to get rid of all my uncommon gear. Sweet. Goodbye. But I do not want to get rid of this down here. Seriously, do not make this mistake. I know a few people that clicked rare by accident and boom, good a buy soul of springtime. And you only get 200 gold for it. Whereas if you go in there and you sell, what, five of them, you get 7,000 gold. This is a ripoff. This is not what we want to do. Sorry, a bit of a rant, but I do not want you to lose your resources. Seriously, this is not the place to be selling all of this. You need to use it. Just do your dailies normally. Then if you need more gold, go in and do the maze. If you need to level up your heroes, go into the campaign. But if you're not up to hell, well, actually, to be honest, it's a thousand energy no matter what. So it doesn't matter where you grind. You grind in campaign, you grind in the maze, you grind in anywhere. You're going to use about a thousand stamina per day to get your 200 of that resource. It's just going to take a lot longer to get through a thousand stamina in the campaign compared to the maze because the maze is a lot quicker plus using 10 energy per go. So there you go. It's only 100 runs in a maze where it's going to be over 200 in the campaign. Good luck. Let me know if you agree with everything that I've said here. If you like the event, if they could put any more into the event or take anything out. I think that the Hall of Gods, I would love to be in there as well. It's, it still does cost 10. So I don't know why, actually. I wish the Hall of Gods was in here because this is where I want to farm. Seriously, I'd put a thousand stamina straight into the Hall of Gods every day. Every day I'd put it in here. But if not, Maze Island's so much better. Do Maze of Awakening, do Maze of Gold, Maze of, all of them. Just do them all. Go and get it, guys. Go and get it.